Okay, so welcome to my final video on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Congratulations on making it this far. Um, at this point, you should have one side completely solved, you should have two layers completely solved, and you should also have the top cross completely solved as well, and also in their correct positions. Notice how the red's matching the red center, and the green's matching the green center, and so forth. Okay, and in this final video, we are going to solve these last four corner pieces. Okay, um, so what we want to do is we want to actually get all the corner pieces not necessarily orientated the correct way, but we want to get them in the correct position. Um, so what do I mean by this? Let's, t let's take a look at this piece right here. This piece is orientated incorrectly, but it's actually in the correct position. Uh, because this position has a yellow center, a red center, and a green center. And notice how this piece is yellow, red, and green. Um, so this piece is, piece is actually in the correct position, but it is not orientated correctly. All right, so what we're going to do for all four corner pieces is get them in the correct position, but not necessarily orientated correctly. Okay? And the way you do this is... You, you do an algorithm that is actually going to keep this piece in the same place, and we're going to rotate the other three corner pieces until they're in the correct position as well. Okay? And if you don't have one that's in the correct position, or sometimes you have zero that are in the correct position, um, then you can do this uh, sequence any way that you want. Um, but if you do have it in the correct position, if you do have one, sorry, in the correct position, then you need to make sure that this correct one it starts in the bottom right part of the top face. Okay, so this one that's in the correct position has to start in the bottom right part of the top face. All right, and the algorithm uh, goes something like this. It goes top, right, top inverted, left inverted, top, right inverted, top inverted, left. Okay. Um, so what we did was we kept this corner piece that's in the correct position in the same place and we rotated all three other corner pieces um, and they're actually still, notice how this one's not in the correct position, um, they're still not in their correct position so we actually got to do rotate them uh, one more time. You should never have to do it more than twice um, and then they'll all be in their correct positions. All right. Um, and an easier way to memorize this is, is without using uh, the word inverted. Um, so that's how I'm going to do it now. Um, so uh, the, the algorithm goes top, right, top, left, top, right, top, left. Okay. Um, so now all the pieces should definitely be in their correct position. So let's ch let's check it out. Uh, we know that this piece is in this correct position. Uh, this piece has a yellow center, has a blue center, and has a red center. Notice how this piece is yellow, red, and blue. So that's in the correct position. Uh, we know this piece is definitely in the correct position. You can just see that with your eyes. And this piece, yellow, green, and orange. Yellow, green, and orange. Okay, so all of them are in their correct positions. All right, and once you do this, okay, you want to look for one that is already orientated the correct way. Um, so this one is already or orientated the correct way. Um, so you want to put the one that's orientated the correct way in the bottom left part of the top face. Okay, and this next algorithm, what I'm about to teach you, it seems like it's actually going to mess up the cube, uh, but it doesn't, okay? And you want to perform this next algorithm um, as many times as you need until this piece is orientated the correct way, okay? And the other algorithm goes right inverted, down inverted, right, down, Okay, notice how this piece is still not orientated uh, the correct way, so we got to keep on doing it. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Okay, um, now this piece is orientated the correct way. You can see that with your eyes. Um, and once you do that, you want to rotate the top face so that a piece that is orientated incorrectly 
takes its position. And we'll do the same thing all over again. We go right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Okay, um, now this piece is orientated correctly. Um, now we got to do it for this last and final corner piece. Once again, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And we have one final move. Twist this top side twice. And congratulations, we have officially solved a 3x3 Rubik's Cube.